<laughs> Bam! Drops it right there. What does a woman have to do? Just show up, booty, show up. beautiful body, dress in a nice, uh, nice way in the bikini. Yeah, showing the buttocks and the uh, the bosoms, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Jump, jump on the boat. The man will say, "Come along," and all you do is just lie there. <laughs> Man's no, gonna, the women out there. I, I put myself in the, into the woman's shoes now. Right, go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Would you? No, nah, no. Nah, I'll keep him as a friend. Don't there it? you go, yeah. friend zones. Welcome back to Fire in the Room for another episode. It's your host, the Bearded Mogul. And I'm Bearded Mogul too. <laughs> yes, Bearded Mogul Brothers. Yeah, Jimmy and uh, Musty, the Bearded Mogul Brothers. Yeah. Welcome back. Today we're going to be reacting to the top G, Andrew Tate, going on a date. Is he going on a date? I think it's a date show. I don't know yeah. what it is. but So he went on uh, Grilling, grilling on a yeah. standout uh, TV mm -hmm. uh, where he gets interviewed. or Gets grilled. Gets grilled by, by Xi'an. this Xi'an. Xi'an. I, think she's, a, I think she's a feminist. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> she can't be a feminist if she's looking for a man. But she is looking for someone and I believe she portrays or asks uh, Andrew Tate some questions and let's see what Andrew Tate uh, replies back. The top G himself, uh, the guy who's got experience with women and can shut women down and no matter what you say to him. Yeah. Mm. So let's get into it. So on this, we're, we're starting about five minutes into the interview the whole interview is about two hours long yeah is it two hours long or one hour long one hour long sorry one hour long but we've just skipped all the uh, nitty-gritty intro uh, so we're getting into the uh, the serious part yeah. um what kind of man are you what's the spectrum i need you to quantify it for me <laughs> who's at the bottom and who's at the top for me i'd just say top like a high value man what would you say constitutes a high value man a high value man is someone that is successful okay financially okay I'd say it's someone that's got a lot of integrity and good morals, mm -hmm. that is very well respected, is very sure of himself, but also is a very family orientated man. That's for me, a high value man. Okay, it's fine. I'm a high value man. He's very sure of himself. <laughs> Look at yeah, that. So I'm a high value man. Pretty much basically what you said. I think a high value So if a man has confidence, uh, she gives attitude like that. He's I very know, assured yeah. of himself. I know. What do you, what do you women want? No. You asked, uh, you gave specific bullet points of this is what you require from a high valued man. Andrew Tate replies, that's him. Yeah. That's me. He's very assured yeah. of himself. I'm sure I'm that as well. Yeah. Are you a high value man? I am indeed. We are high yeah. value men. That's why we are the bearded moguls. We yes. are moguls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make you moguls as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Follow this channel. Learn. And you'll get the women. <laughs> Value man is a capable man. I think capability can be capable judged man? in yes, many different ways. Indeed. We are capable and capability of anything. is something which varies depending on the situation. You need a man who is capable of doing lots of different things that he doesn't do very often. You need a man who's capable of being violent when the time appears. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need a man who's capable of making money. You need a man who can kill somebody and hold a baby in the same day. You need a man with a very broad spectrum of qualities and assets and capabilities. And this is actually what the most difficult thing about being a man is. Most people, when I say most people, let me change that. Most females don't respect how difficult it is to become a high value man. Mm -hmm. To become a high very value difficult. man, you need to have so many different qualities and so many different capabilities. It's mm -hmm. a very difficult thing to do. You need to be funny and smart and charismatic and interesting with stories and, and strong and, and rich with a nice car and a nice apartment. Whereas to be a high value female, you need to be hot. If you're nice, it's a bonus, but it's not even that necessary. That's it. If you're a pretty female, what do you think? Yeah. For a high, for a high valued female, what do you need to be? Just hot. Just hot and sexy. Beautiful. That's it. Well, the man is going to provide the money. The man is going to shower you with gifts, shower you with everything. He's going to house you, feed you, look after you. What are you going to do for the man? Just be hot, innit? Just sit be there. hot, innit? To sit there and show, uh, showcase your beauty. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's a high value woman. So it's harder for a man to be a high value man. It's uh, a lot more difficult. Oh, We've yeah. got a lot more challenges, a lot more obstacles in the way that we have to jump over, dodge mm -hmm. uh, in life. Uh, We've got a lot more stress. Uh, We've got a lot more everything. Oh, yeah. Everything. We need and to And then when we make it, yeah. then we can have a harem of uh, 50 women. Why not? Yeah. See, we have to tick. 
when a woman asks a question, we have to tick every single box. Oh yeah. Yeah. But when we ask the woman, uh, the woman, mm. she just needs to be hot. That's all what men men want from a woman. Just needs men to be hot. Men become the high value man so they can have that hot woman, yeah. high value woman, or any woman they want. Yeah. Right. Even if you're a piece of shit person, you're gonna get messages on Instagram. Oh yeah. Mm. Whereas if you're a good-looking man who lives with his mother, you ain't getting any messages. True. Mm. No, True. Right. I I think so. I think oh, yeah. that if you're, you're a right, good-looking right. man, that's I all disagree you with you, Shia. I don't think you're going to succeed very well in life. Yeah. I know there's very very pretty girls who have nothing else going for them that manage to do very very well. Mm. Yeah. Do you play chess? I'm okay at it. But if you look at the chess board, right, the queen gets to jump all over the board, and oh, the yeah. king has to move one square at a time. And I think that's done very purposefully. Mm. If you go to Monaco and you see a yacht and you see a man on that yacht, he had to work his entire life and network oh, his yeah. entire life and get up early and deal with stress Word. and tax problems and police problems and work his ass off to buy that boat. What did the girl have to do? The girl is on that boat, the 19-year-old. She's not liking it. She had to get a message on Instagram. Boom. <laughs> so <the> Bam! <laughs> Drops it right there. What does a woman have to do? Just show up, booty, show up. beautiful body, dress uh, in a nice, uh, nice way in the bikini. Yeah, showing the buttocks and the uh, the bosoms, and that's it. <laughs> jump, yeah. jump on the boat. The man will say, "Come along," and all you do is just lie there, just lie there. That's it. Yeah. Do you think a high value man is going to take an ugly woman to on the yacht? Nah, no nah, chance. Nah, nah. A woman that does not look after herself, nah, no chance. He's right. Agree or disagree? Agree. I am agreeing yeah. right now. Yeah. At the moment. Full agreement. Yeah. The man moves one square at a time and the queen just jumps on board. This is mm -hmm. the point. Female beauty is extremely valuable. The thing is, there's a difference between a high value man and a high value woman. For me, a high value woman is what kind of mother is she? What kind of like compassion has she got? You know, has she mm. got integrity? You missed that part, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, we missed that part. I do apologize to the women that do go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we missed the mother part. Yeah. Carry on, Shia. But well, she never explained it. Yeah, she's, she's loyal. Explained it. Like all these other qualities, but I feel like men base it on like just an aesthetic level. I agree with you. If I meet a female, I would like her to be all those things, especially loyal. So yeah. So more. yes, let's let's take this back a bit. I rewind. Think we, I rewind. Think, I think we jumped the gun. <laughs> yes. Right. We did, we did. So let's us define what a high value man and woman is. Right. Yeah. So for us, for me anyway, yeah. high value man is the one who worships Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Yeah. Amen. Right, the faith and all that. Yeah. So Islamically speaking, right, mm -hmm. that's what I, that's what we believe. Yeah, know? a believer, and same with a, a woman, mm -hmm. a woman uh, who's a mother, take care of the family, high value woman. All right, yeah. for the Muslim. But taking that out of the equation and just talking, yeah, yeah. in the the worldly affair like this, I agree with his perception yeah, yeah. of high value man and high valued woman should be uh, the mother, the yes. all that stuff that she's saying. Yeah, hundred percent thing for a female to be. Are you but loyal? Mr. Loyal, man of God, we already talked about church. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the point is that to initially attract a mate, females, the most important thing for them is their looks. Whereas a man, I think, is his status. And status is a far more varied spectrum than looks alone. Being good looking alone does not make you a high status male. To be a high status male, you need to have a bunch of things. Initially, if you're just pretty, you're gonna get attention. Whereas a man, you need to have a bunch of things to just get attention. Do you understand? Do you agree with my point? Mm, not always. Listen, there's men that are funny, that aren't that attractive, that can get attention. It's like an energy thing. I disagree. But yeah, saying. but... I disagree. But I, I know you're saying that you get attention, yeah, no, but you're, I don't you're think you're keeping you as a friend. funny guy who lives with his mom and call me. Guys, if you had a guy, yeah, and you guys always say, oh, his personality, mm. right, he's funny as fuck, yeah. right? Makes you laugh, makes you giggle, but he's ugly as fuck, mm. and he's broke. Yeah. Are you going to date him? Are you going to marry him? I'll keep him as a friend, but I want... No, I'm asking the women. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm no, asking I, the, the I, women out there. I, I put myself in the, into the woman's shoes now. Right, go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Would you? No, nah, no. Nah, I'll keep him as a friend. Don't there I? you go, yeah. friend zoned, yeah. and that's what we're trying to that's say. It, you get yeah. friend zoned. You, you, that's it. You stay in that friend zone. Right? Yeah, because I'll. I'll I'm feeling I'll, down today. What I'll do? Let me ring my mate. He's funny. Mm. He'll make my day today. Let's go yeah. out for a drink. He'll yeah, make my yeah. day today. But that bloke will be thinking the opposite. Oh yeah, he's oh, waiting yeah. for the opportunity. She's calling me. Maybe she's got an attraction to me. Yeah. He is like the lion waiting for his prey. Oh yeah. You know, the poor little, what do they hunt? I don't know, lambs or something. I don't know what they hunt. Hyenas. <laughs> Hyenas, <laughs> deers, deers. Yeah, yeah. So he's waiting in that bush, waiting for the opportunity. Yeah, which will never come. And that man will be heartbroken. Mm. He'll tell his family about that girl. 
or tell his friend about that girl, not knowing that he's just in that friend zone. And that's why women, they have uh, like, they go for, obviously attraction's important, so they mm. go for the handsome guy or whatever, yeah. but he's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. And treats him like a piece of shit, but they still kind of stay with him for about yeah, a while yeah, until yeah. they realise. Just uh, to showcase. And uh, then they got a nice friends. guy mm. right next to him, mm. who's a friend, Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's very nice, respects mm-hmm. the, the woman. Does everything for the woman, yeah. but she's like, uh, I have no attraction. Yeah, yeah. It's a friend. Where you you do see two couples, where the man is ugly and the woman is absolutely gorgeous, they're together, mm. and where the woman treats the man like shit, and the man will accept it mm. and be a pussy, yeah, just because uh, he wants to keep that woman because mm. of her looks and her attractions, just so he can showcase it. And when he loses it, that's when they become suicidal. I had this beautiful woman, but a woman is just playing a game. Yeah, a woman is just playing a game. She's probably using you for something else. But <laughs> money. Just, 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 money. Just it's all come down to money. Yeah. And one thing I don't understand is when uh, <laughs> women go out and they always have one ugly friend with them, either the fat one or the <laughs> Have you ever noticed that? That's another thing. That's another that thing. to you know? guys to uh, do you just comment. Want to look, do you, are you making yourself look uh, beautiful because you're standing next to one uh, that's not but so it's beautiful? always when the ugly one that jumps in and spoils the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the guy's yeah, trying yeah. to take... That's you know, a whole different story. The guy's trying to make his move. <laughs> and the ugly one comes... <laughs> Little Ooh. feminist, little fat feminist comes along and tries to fucking cut blocker, cut block, cut block. <laughs> right? You don't like that, do you? Cut block. <laughs> that's what I say. Uh, that's good to you. High value male. Whereas if you get a really, really beautiful girl, even if she has nothing else going for her, she'd be considered high value. I wouldn't I... say high value, no. Yeah, we can disagree. That's fine. Are you a good partner? The best. Of the best. Why is she the best? Confident. Besides you and the police. I don't often answer questions. Mm. Okay. He's definitely had a police interview in the past. I don't like to answer open-ended questions because I feel like they're a trap. Why? Because when you speak a lot, it's how you end up getting trapped, right? It doesn't matter if it's a police interview or anything else. The more you talk, the worse. Mm. So I want you to be very, very specific with your parameters within the questioning because mm. that allows me to answer them in a way which very professional. Me the best. I don't know. I feel like a, a very confident man that was very sure of himself would just answer. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. If, if because I ver- feel like it's just being calculated. Okay, a very innocent man, would he just answer the police? Yeah. Nope. If he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> but you've never dealt with the police, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how it works. No? no, of course not. But he's innocent. It doesn't mean anything. Innocent. Women are so judgmental. They uh, they think that they know all the they answers. They live in the fairyland. Yeah. yeah. That uh, it's always uh, whatever they say, it goes. You know, yeah. it doesn't. You, you're not even experienced anything. Like you said, you are not even been to the police. He has, yeah. When you go to even yeah. if, if even if I'm innocent, I still give. It's the not innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, yeah. It's guilty pr- until proven innocent nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bullshit that sentence. It, do, it doesn't make. It doesn't work in the real world. Mm. You're guilty, mate. If a woman comes and says uh, uh, to the police, uh, "He raped me," boom, boom, straight to uh, straight arrested. Yeah, chucked in the jail until you are, have been cleared. Yeah, so it's all bullshit. Mm. Guilty in and of itself is a false paradigm. You, you have to understand that the world we live in, there is no black and white. There is, there's no such thing. It's all a sliding scale. If they want to find you guilty, they'll find you guilty. I mm. guarantee you sold something to a, a mate on eBay seven years ago and didn't pay tax. Boom, you're going to jail. I'm enjoying this conversation and I understand every point she's making and I'm being <laughs> deliberately abrasive. Yeah. However, the truth is about the masculine feminine dynamic is that females like men who are completely in charge and run oh, yeah. their life exactly how they want and they comply and bend to the man's wills and lifestyle. To, to come along to a woman and say, how do you want me to be so that you like me is, is, a, death, is a death sentence for the relationship. So that's how it works. What kind of man do you want to be? I want to be a man who lives true to himself and a man who goes to sleep easy at night and a man who knows that he's living true to his biological necessities and, and instincts and tries his best not to hurt anybody and leaves a positive impact on the world. Are your actions congruent with your words? Yeah. What else would they be? I don't know. I don't know you. So that's why I'm don't know? to get to know you. Uh, yeah, we're here to know each other. Of course yeah. they are. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a positive man. I'm a positively She's getting inspirational very defensive person. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Already. what do you do that's motivating? I inspire people to tell the truth, I think. Okay. And I think a lot of men live in a world now today where they have to lie. Do you think? In fact, yeah, I would basically guarantee that 99% of men are lying at least 80% of the time. Really? That's yeah. a bit bold. I, I think it's true because no, I think that... So men are liars? Men are liars. 
Women are correct. Men are liars. Women wear makeup because men fall in love with what they see. Oh, and yeah. Men lie because women fall in love with <laughs> Great point. Again, I'll come back to the makeup point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, look at Andrew Tate here. Top G. Yeah. Top G. <laughs> if they were a couple, you wake up the next day, you're going to see exactly the same thing that you see right here. Mm. Yeah. Bowled head, beard, perfectly shaped, everything. Mm. You know what I mean? You wake up next to Sian, Chian, Chian, Chain, whatever the name is. Hair will be different, makeup will be off, everything, you'll, be, you'll see a complete different woman. The body figure and all that stuff, yeah. saying. <laughs> the facial. I've heard a story in uh, <laughs> some Arab country, I think it was, and the guy got married. Hmm. And, um, you know, obviously the marriage night, and he woke up next day and he gave a divorce. Because oh, he goes, yeah. basically, he saw without makeup, he said, I did not marry this woman. Wow. Like, it's a, literally it's happens, it happens Women are, are very dis, uh, what Deceiving Deceiving, yes The jal, The Jalic You but are the jals. All I ask is feel confident In your natural beauty Don't If you feel confident wearing makeup Then you're not actually confident in yourself There is no confidence in you If you require mm. makeup to be confident so the question I asked Sian, is she confident if you took her makeup and came into that interview? What would she be? No, yeah. doubt it. I doubt it. What to hear? Men are liars because men are in constant competition with other men. Yep. And they have to find a way to be competitive. And the easiest way to be competitive is to lie. If you can sit there and convince a woman that you're rich because you bought her a hundred dollar or a hundred pound meal, that's what you're going to do. It's a lot easier than becoming rich. And women believe it. And as long as women are stupid enough to believe it, men are dishonest enough to lie. For me personally, I'm the type of woman that it's actions as in words. I don't get like phased by actions can be a lie. You think flowers can't be a lie? <laughs> you think flowers, 25 pounds on a phone call to some <laughs> dickhead who, delivery dude can't be a lie? No, but there's some like good men that wouldn't it wouldn't even enter the head that that's a lie. So I feel like everything you're doing is just very calculated. Life is calculated. All it's men not, lie. It's, it's really not. Men lie life because not. yeah, life life at the upper echelons, at the highest echelon. Men have to lie, innit? Men come to a point. Women, you make us lie. Oh, yeah. You push us to certain limits to make us lie, so we have to lie. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. that's all I want to say. Mm. The ones of life is absolutely and utterly calculated. Every single man at the top echelon of life is a calculated man. You don't get there by accident. Okay, so do you want to get to the top? I'm already at the top echelon of man. And when you're at the <laughs> top echelon of man, it's, like it's a very, very calculated process. You don't get there by accident. Nothing good in life happens on accident. Nope. When you That's say right. men don't lie because you believe in actions, I'm saying a lot of actions are lies. Am I high value women in your eyes? You're very good looking. So I would say, uh, yeah, absolutely. You're beautiful. You seem like you're a good person. You seem intelligent. You're not stupid. So I'd say you're a high value woman, but your actions dictate that, right? The most important actions a woman can undertake is loyalty. Every man out here knows that Disloyalty is the most disgusting thing a female could ever do to her man. But are you loyal? Let's not pretend that male loyalty and female loyalty are the same thing. <laughs> loyalty is loyalty. Here we go. But they're not the same thing, are they? Why is it not? Because men and women are not the same. We mm. are not the same. You are correct there. Okay, so we agree. No, but I'm not agreeing to people being dishonest, cheaters, liars. He's deluded. Why do you think oh, men and women are deluded? And deluded. We carry children. Correct. You know, we nurture, we're, you know, compassionate. Emotional beings. Yep. Mm -hmm. Men are very different. I agree. However, I don't think it's very fair for men to sit with the opinion that it's acceptable for men to cheat. I didn't even say that, but I think if we, as intelligent, logical beings, as you are and as I am, if we agree that men and women are not the same, then our paradigms on how we act, enact in certain regards cannot be seen as the same. So, right? if, but, so if I'm with you, yeah. And I then cheat. That's disgusting. I can't believe you even said that on, on YouTube. <laughs> right. You just said that on yeah. YouTube. I'm sorry to the world. Please don't listen to this. No, it happens. No, it, do no, it doesn't it does. happen. No, People no, no, no. Can't be doing Please that. don't yeah. say this on YouTube. You're going to corrupt the youth. I'm sorry for her. I'll pray for her. <laughs> Sean, what kind of role model are you? Women can't do that, so it's a double standard. It's a double standard. Yeah. But life is full of double standards. Yeah, but it doesn't mean any, like, listen, regardless of your philosophies and everything that you keep from. It's not my philosophy. No, but I'm saying, okay, life is full of double standards. Correct. I understand that. But in a relationship, Correct. it's a partnership. Yes. Right. You and me, we're together. Since when? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> when, there when you go. You're Smooth talk, Mr. T. Like yes, Mr. T. Yeah. The end goal is you two together. Agreed. So why cheat? I know. I understand where you're coming from. My point is that relationships and life is full of double standards as a whole. A man's going to pay for everything everywhere you go, right? This is, this is, do, is a man. Do you agree? 
No, I do like traditional. Okay, so you agree. So you're traditional, right? So if you want to talk about traditional, let's talk about tradition. Yeah. Every single man since the dawn of human time had more than one. If she's talking about tradition, isn't it, man? She'll get wiped out. Mm. Yeah. You know. Oh, what she's... Well, she pick and choose is tradition, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the man can pay for that. I mm -hmm. love that tradition. Yep. The man can uh, uh, pull my chair out. I love that tradition. Mm -hmm. But me staying at home, mm -hmm. taking care of the house and mm -hmm. the kids, mm -hmm. no, I don't like that tradition. Yeah, I, I still want to go out. I still want to go on a holiday. Uh, was it every single uh, yeah. month with my yeah. girls? Yeah. yeah. I still want to go out uh, with a meal with my girls on mm. my own, uh, dressing a, a way that uh, you know is uh, inappropriate. Mm. Yeah. So other people can look at me. Mm. That's why Islam is so beautiful. Mm. Yeah, you go back to tradition. The man is the uh, the man of the house. He uh, he provides. He brings uh, home uh, the money, the paper. Looks after his family. Looks after his kids. He does everything. Of what a man should be doing. A woman, she looks after the man. Yeah, she looks after the family, the kids. She provides. Mm. Yeah, she looks after the home, the beautiful home. Yeah, she covers herself when she mm. goes out, and the, the the only time she shows the true beauty is to her man. That's what you call loyalty. That's what you call tradition. And that's a high-valued woman. And that's what you call a high-valued woman. What does she want? She wants to go party. She wants to do everything what she wants to do that she's doing when she was single, mm. when she was with a man. Yeah. How can you do that? How can a man accept that? Yeah. No man will accept that. Never. So that's what Andrew Tate is trying to say. Every single king, every single emperor, every single sultan, every single conqueror since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. All of them. Yeah. Every single one. Read a history book. Read the Bible. It's all in there. The Quran. All of it. You want to talk about tradition, it's all there. The only yeah, reason your mind is different, the only reason you believe differently is because the society, society has come along and told you something. Yeah, but society, we can change. Like, the world evolves, things change. It does the world matter. evolves, yeah, that's right. Certain, now, rule, now men... certain rules are set. Yeah. Mm, and should be set. Yeah, should be set. If, mm. you, keep, if you change them, that's where everything F, F, Fs up. Mm. Yeah. That's why the world is so effed up today. Yeah, yeah. Because we're trying to change the society. We're saying, oh, we're living in today's world. We're living in the future. Yeah. We don't, uh, you know, uh, follow the tradition anymore. We, you know, what has uh, come before us. Mm. God's law is God's law. If you do not change it, the world will be much a, such a better place, mm. a beautiful place. Everyone will get along with each other. No one will be fornicating. No, there won't, there won't be no adultery. There won't be no murders or anything like that. Yeah, the world will be nice and simple. All right, we won't have uh, uh, the party life that you want, innit? Mm. But who wants that nowadays? Mm. All right. Another one, another thing that I need to ask when a white person asks me, you guys are boring. I say, you guys are boring. What do you do in your life? Yeah, you work nine to five uh, for five days a week. You get onto a Friday. All the money that's coming to your account on a Friday, you spend it all on booze and partying. And then you say, we've well, got a boring life. Yeah, but the thing is, they don't. You remember what they don't. Exactly. So and what, their money's gone. Their skin. At the end of the day, if you, you need to have memory. Like you need to have a memory of a good time that you had this time. If you don't remember it, how yeah. do you know you had a good time? Yeah, of course. And uh, you're going out there, you're embarrassing yourself anyway, especially the women who yeah. are all drunk and the bearded mogul crew. Yeah, the bearded mogul. We're top G's. Oh, we, yeah. we look after. We earn the money. We earn it for our families. So Family we, does. And when we got that money, we provide uh, for our family, family yeah. only. And then we take them onto a holiday, nice luxury yeah. holiday. We travel the world and we capture their memories. Their memories stay with us forever. And our kids grow up learning other traditions. And so they know how other people are. So when they grow up, they respect other people. Unlike you people, you give us attitude. <laughs> and be racist to us because you live in your so-called bubble in the UK or America and do not leave it. Cut their dicks off and their chicks. Do you believe in this shit? You got the f***ing? You believe in any of this crap? It's all a lie. I feel like life's this, about choices. Life is about choices, correct. My point is this. If I had a woman, I would decide not to cheat because I decide. However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity because female infidelity dis involves emotion. You will not sleep with a man you don't like. I can sleep with a woman I don't like. It's completely a different thing. I can be head over heels in love with a woman, ready to die for her, ready to take a bullet for her, protect her, give her all the money in the world, make sure yeah. she has a beautiful family, a nice big house, all of it. And I'll still f*** that bitch. Watch me. <laughs> a woman won't do that. So don't lie to me and pretend. No, you won't. Any woman who will sit here and say, I can f*** dudes and not care about them is fundamentally broken. Her soul is broken. Okay, well, she's broken then, but she's still doing it. Well, if she's broken, she ain't anywhere near me. I don't want no broken bitch near me. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Well, those are the kind of women I will not associate with. Look, this is totally against Islam, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally against Islam. But if, if it, uh, we're doing a reaction on their perspective, yeah? On yeah. their point of view. 
Right. So what you said is absolutely right. A woman sleeping with another man, if she's already in a relationship, you're going to get attached to that man no matter what. If he gives you better loving than your own husband, mm. uh, you're going to fall for that because you think emotionally. You don't think rationally. Mm. Those men, like Mr. Tate said, we can give our life to the woman we love and that's our wife and that's our queen that we got at our home. Yeah, I'm not all right. Don't compare this to religion. I'm just thinking on their perspective of what they're saying. Our religion is totally against us. We don't cheat. Once we've got our queen, we do not cheat. But what Andrew Tate is saying, that he can give everything to that woman. Everything. And love her. But if he goes out with another woman, he will never fall in love with that woman. It just, uh, it's just, just sex. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And then he can just leave her and then come back home to his wife and give her everything again. Where a woman, if she did it, she'll mm. get attached emotionally. And when she came back to her husband, she'd be in bed thinking about that other man as well. That's what he's trying to Correct. say. Correct. Females shouldn't even want to cheat. And the reason women can't cheat is because there's no way to ensure paternity of a female's cheating. Modern science in and of itself, just because you can now find out who the dad is, doesn't undo 5,000 years. That's a good point. I like that point. Because back in the day, obviously, you know, when a woman gave birth in it, you would, you would assume... It's the husband's child. Mm. So if a woman's sleeping around and she's known for it, then who's the father? Exactly. Today we can we know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the tradition, like you're saying, the 5,000 year tradition or whatever, 1,000 years before. Today, today, even if we do know that, we won't un uh, check until they grow up. Because uh, every uh, when a child is born, mm. unless it's a different uh, you know skin uh, colour, mm. yeah, when the child is born, they all look the same. Yeah. So when they get to about one, two years old, and then they say, oh, this guy does not look like me. Mm. And they, <laughs> this guy looks like my friend, my best friend. <laughs> That's when you start having doubts and yeah. you do your DNA checks. But then you're attached to that child. Mm. And it's, it's, uh, so, but... It's a human evolution in which a female had to be loyal to one man so we knew exactly who the father was. If a man has multiple partners, you know who the mother is, you know who the father is. If yeah, a woman has just multiple what partners, you said. nobody knows who the dad is, nobody wants to look after the kid, and a woman with a child without a father or without a man around in the ancient world was toast. He talks a lot of nothing. I would never <laughs> ever be with a girl who cheats on me. And Honestly, I would never, ever... you, can't, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I no, can. No, you can't. Of course I can. No, you can't. Like, because the thing is, with, like, this is just an assumption. I'm assuming, you know, do you have a nice this life? Haram. No, it's but haram. I'm saying. <laughs> haram, bro, what's haram? You know when she she had nothing else to say, but she goes, he just talks uh, a lot of nothing. Yeah. Look what he was saying. He's he's saying he's saying stuff, yeah. and he's, just, he's saying nothing. Okay. She can't say anything because she knows he's right. Mm. So that means that she's attached to him now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm telling you now. I'm the hitch uh, of this uh, generation now. <laughs> uh, Mister Tate's the hitch, but uh, I'll tell you right now, she's uh, falling in love with him. You have a nice life, you live a good lifestyle, women would just see you as an opportunity. If I was, a, if I was a dumbass, yeah, correct. Yeah, but this one's a bit of attitude is what keeps a woman also. Like, do you think a high value woman is going to sit there and tolerate a man condescending and talking to her and being like, we're different and we're this, we're that, because we're not. A woman, yes. knows her, a woman that knows her worth is not going to tolerate that. As professionals, we discussed the infidelity of females. And I said that female infidelity is more disgusting than male infidelity. And I think that the world agrees with me. History agrees with me. The Bible agrees with me. The Quran agrees with me. Every single book you can read from history says that females who are promiscuous should either be stoned to death or at least cast out from society. Female mm -hmm. promiscuity is a brand new concept. and This is brand new amongst society. The idea that women can sleep with a bunch of dudes and it doesn't matter is a brand new idea. 30, 40 years old, maybe. Even today, nobody respects it. Deep down. When a girl shoots a girl she doesn't like, you know the first thing she does? She says she's a mm -hmm. Why? Because they know deep down that female... Promiscuity is disgusting, it's revolting. Mm. What did he say there? Got caught out there, didn't he? Yeah. And they bleeps it out. We can't see it then. <laughs> so the whole idea of a female wanting to see the more than one man at a time S is L -A. haram. Uh -huh. And they know it inside of their souls, inside of their hearts. I don't think so. As yes, they do. As does a man. No. Whereas a man, if he sleeps with a bunch of chicks, doesn't matter. Who cares? So would you be with me if I had slept with over 50 men? <sighs> nope. I wouldn't. <laughs> but I'm a high value woman, right? <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. No. You it yourself. How can you be high value if 50 men have slept with you? I've just been single for a exactly. long time. Exactly. Oh, unacceptable. Why is it unacceptable? Oh, wow. 
A body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think like that 90, no, 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 no. I'm going to say this. I think 99% of the world's problems, and no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, because it would prevent all of the disintegration of morals. It would prevent so many things about the world. But you know what? There's like a lot and women would be like, <laughs> you know, like to be with speak. me as a man, I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Wouldn't, couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. That attitude is disgusting. It's not about women's <laughs> body count. That would not like minimize any problems. Men like you are the problem, Andrew. Oh yeah, yeah, women, yeah, right. I myself am one of them. And Let's uh, dissect what you just said there. Yeah, go on. So, if you had a world where you had the body count number on every female, yeah, would that improve anything? Would that of help? Course. Of course, it would. Because then the man, isn't it? He would look at that, isn't it? Even deep inside, even if you were the 2022 man, a man, a modern man with a mon modern thought deep inside, you'd be like, she's got 150 on her forehead. Mm. No chance. She's either had there. Yeah. Uh, he would definitely not wife that. Mm, you might say, all right, one night. Yeah. I'll make a 151. One. Well, never be a wifey material though. No. Never chance. Never. No, she's got a... Uh, and then... Yeah, yeah go on. That will put the pressure on the woman to think, right. It's like, uh, what's that uh, TV show called? Black Mirror. Mm. Something similar like that. Black Mirror, that's a good idea. Put that on one of your shows. Um, then the woman will get pressured to think, right, I need to keep this number low. Low. Yeah. To zero, actually. Zero. And zero means you're a virgin. Every man will want you. Yeah. Halas. Halas. No matter how you look, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, you will get a man. But if you had a number on your head, let's say more than uh, two or three. Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> a man will turn away from you. You yeah. will never get out. Uh, you'll, you'll probably bed him. You'll have probably have a one night stand. But you'll never be a wife. No man will uh, accept you as a wife. So if that number was zero, I guarantee you people will be lining up asking for your proposal. And that will solve the world problem today that we have. Or where women are not getting married. There's so many women that are not married today. Yeah, possibility. But I think just women of today, they just got a massive list of uh, requirements. They want the high value mm. man when they're not a high value woman themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's true as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sick of men that have this really disgusting outlook on women policing women's bodies. Listen, if I want to sleep with this many people, I can and I will. Oh. Yeah. But what you're not getting is there's this whole that. hyper toxic that's independent the, That's the modern feminism movement of women. Mm. That like, is it. We are doing things. I know. And that's I, why we, I speak out against it a lot. That yeah. is modern feminism. Feminism has changed. It's not about equal rights. I know. It's about this bullshit. I can do whatever I want. I can It's uh, my body. Yeah. My yeah. Body. What's happening in America now? Abortions. Yeah, abortion. My body. I can do what I want. And she goes, I had two abortions. <laughs> I'm glad America's banned abortions and closing well all the ab abortions. Well done, clinics. Biden. Yeah. <laughs> Like you said, that's the only time yeah. we will praise you. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not well done to Biden. No, no. Biden opposed it. He came, f Biden. Yeah. Fuck you, Biden. Yeah. <laughs> came on the stand and goes, uh, this is a sad day for America. How could this Whoever happen? Whoever voted for it, well done. Thank Supreme you very much. Court. Congratulations. Yes. Democracy, I some justice. full force. Some justice uh, prevailing at the moment. That's great. And these women coming on the street. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's my body. I can do it every month. You can do abortion. You're a murder. You're a murderous uh, woman. That's yeah, what you're yeah. doing. You're That's murdering murder, that man. child. That's murder. If you don't want to get pregnant, stop fucking about then, innit? Oh, yeah. Going around shagging any man you want <laughs> and getting pregnant, and then, you, uh, then you're killing that child. Control what, your bodies. Of that child, Control man? your bodies. Get married and then have a child. That's Be with it. a man who's going to love and take the care of that child, not just kill it mm. and then go around and fuck another man. 
You lost. You lost. You feminist biatches. Because it's kind of, now it's our choice, but it's kind of like by force in the sense of, it's like we're so liberated yeah. because we're literally exhausted with men on their power trip, on their this. So it's like, oh, if you can do it, we can do it. But oh, this is like something days. you, you men, she's, she's a feminist. the way you think oh, yeah, I'm that. I understand your point. However, you can do it, we can do it. Mm. Uh, uh, that's a clown. I would have been kicking off right now. Yeah, he's oh, very calm. He's very I must calm. admit, annoying her is, is kind of fun. He's annoying her by purpose. I yeah. think that, uh, you know what? I'm being so nice. I'm being so nice to you. I say <laughs> I think instead of I know. This is him being nice. The answer is I know. I know. Females who sleep with lots of men. First things first. I don't think that women naturally, intrinsically want to do that. I think that's societal programming. I think that women... No, I, I agree. This is what I'm saying to you. Like, there's things that you're saying, like, I don't disagree with certain things you're saying, but going back to my point, it's like by force. Like, I, it's to prove a point. It's like this power struggle. Like, I personally don't want to sit and sleep with loads of men. I don't care. Like, Good. I don't We're getting somewhere. You see, okay. God, Jesus, I'm getting her. Please, <laughs> little by little. Got two hours left. Give me some time, I'll fix it. No, but if I want to, then I'm going to. Sorry, but, but that's what, that's what you need to understand. <laughs> Take it back. No, but genuinely, Take that's it back. what you need to understand. No, you will not. God will frown upon you. You can't do and that. And you. And you. Do you mean and me? It doesn't say in the Bible I can't do that. Read the book. I can do whatever I want. I'm a man. Women can't do those things. It's disgusting. I can't believe you're poisoning the youth on YouTube. Why is he shouting? <laughs> the idea that a woman you don't get it, you what pick. she wants just because she wants to is wrong. Whatever. It's absolutely wrong. Every man knows it and every woman knows it. Women should not do that. And the whole idea and the whole concept that females can adopt the promiscuity of males, because males have always been promiscuous. Mm -hmm. but there's actually a lot of men that are like good loyal men, just so you know. Do you think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know very good men. Would you, would you deem them high value men? Oh, absolutely. Successful. Everything that I listed earlier, 100%. If you know very good men, why are you not in a relationship at the moment? Why is she not in a relationship? What is she doing on these dates? Yeah, Chan. Can you answer that, please? Yeah. Why have we not got a man? Did she say she's single? She must be if she's uh, coming on these shows and looking for a man. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I wouldn't be. Uh, if she's got a man and her husband's watching this, mm. then uh, you know who wears the pants in the household. Oh, no, she definitely wears it, no yeah. matter what, mate. <laughs> Freaky. Can tell. Man. Freak here now. I w if I got married to her just over her looks, next day, man, oh, give me 24 hours I'll divorce her. Yeah, I'll divorce you, see, and I don't care how uh, good you look. Take that makeup off and I'll show me your confidence. They don't cheat, right? Yeah. It's possible. <laughs> like, honey, this, no, seriously, this guy is so me? toxic. And the only kind of people that listen to his kind of adv his advice mm. are broke men oh. or heartbroken men that are insecure. Yeah, really. I think that yeah, we if a man to... has um, options what? over a long enough time frame, he's going to eventually probably explore one of them options. Now, I'm not saying he's going to love another woman. I'm saying that a man who, when a man's in love, he only loves one girl. I agree with that. I believe in love. I believe a man cares about a chick. I believe a man should take care of a woman. I believe he should come home to the same place every day. I believe all those mm. things. However, I think if a man truly has options, truly, that both the man and the woman understand that at some point he's going to explore those options. No. Listen, if, if I'm with you, do you think I'm going to allow you to explore other options? It's either you're with me or you're not. Go, go be single then. Cool. Like what, but realistically, what, what self-respecting woman is going to sit there and tolerate you I don't cheat. Out. I don't cheat. Okay, I'm a good man. Saying, I don't but cheat. What woman is going to? If you have all these other options, no, no, no. Because, but I tell you, what's more powerful? What's more alpha? Yeah. And what's more attractive? And what's more high value? Mm -hmm. Is a man that can respect his woman, yeah, love her, not cheat on her, not disregard her, not see himself above her, not see him as you know she's his slave or anything like that. See her as an equal. Treat her with respect and put her on that. That's more powerful. A partnership, two people. Not oh, I'm a man. I have options. I'm going to explore them. Listen, if you're a cheater, you're a cheater. If you're a loyal person, you're a loyal person. That's it. First things first, men and women. So well, I'm, uh, what does that make you, Sean? You're the one who said I can sleep with 50 men. If a man can do it, I can do it. So what does that make you? Mm. It's crazy, isn't it? Mm. You ask the man it's, the it's question, but standards, you do it yourself. It? Double she, standards. She's double standard herself. And, and get one thing doubles. straight. We don't keep our women as slaves. They've got the freedom to do whatever they want. Yeah? As long as they are loyal to their man. Their, mm. uh, their king that's in the house and they know that they're the queen simple as the woman takes care of the home that's it they're not equal we'll talk about that in a second secondly is that if a woman sees a, if sees Chris Brown in the club do you think she's like wow he'll be loyal <laughs> fuck no she doesn't care <laughs> like a high
went crazy. Yeah, like I yeah, see yeah. nowadays, you know, all these hijabis in the club and they see the, uh, the uh, so-called celebrities. Ah, ah, yeah, it's ah. crazy. They push the man out of the side. Ah, uh-huh. ah. Disrespectful. If that was my woman, I would have divorced her right on the spot right there. Say, go with Chris Brown and let's see if he gives you any attention. <laughs> any attention whatsoever. Well, he so. won't even look at you or touch you and you're running after him like a fucking dog. Enough status as a man. Women don't even care about loyalty. Women don't even care about loyalty at high enough status. I'm not, and I don't cheat. Okay, Listen, I'm a man of God. I go to church. I don't cheat. I'm talking about in general. Okay, talking but I'm, about what I'm trying society. to explain to you, though, because maybe your perception of what a high value woman is is what? Because I'm a high value woman. I make my own money. I possess all the qualities that I listed earlier. Right. I believe I'm not going to be with a man. That's- there you go. An independent woman who makes the money, who's rich, and who's got the looks and everything, and can do whatever she wants. <clears throat> yep. <sighs> Seriously, they do not get they're deluded. They don't get the point. You never, you never will. And you'll never find the man that you're looking for. Mm. Stay single for the rest of your life. And uh, yeah, I want to say next bit. It's gonna cheat. I'm not gonna look at a man like Chris Brown and be like, oh my god, like he's loyal. It, you see, you see it as face value. You know he's a cheat, and maybe he'd just be a one night guy, cool. just like you men do it. To would you him. sleep with him for one night? Him. I don't think I would. I hope not, because that would no, not make you a one night. No, 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 this is what I'm woman. saying because it's like. When you hold yourself in high regard, you don't need to do those things. So the kind of caliber of women that go for men like that and these opportunities don't have that much self-worth because it's what you're going to go with a man that's only deep, like only values you for one night. So it says a lot about the quality of a woman. All right, so, so we so agree so on saying, something. But I'm saying, so when you generalize about women, don't do that because there are many high value women who would refuse him that will not tolerate that completely i'm not saying that my point is you completely misunderstand me i'm saying at a certain point females aren't even interested in loyalty do you think people do you think all the girls with dan bilzerian think he's loyal i'm not saying every girl will go with him i'm saying there are certain girls at a certain level of male achievement who are not interested in but is that attractive like for me personally that's not attractive to sit there and see a man that thinks it's cool to have loads of women around him be it. like oh my god they're bitches this is that i have all this money that doesn't impress me that doesn't impress a lot of women I it's agree. about raising a family it's I about agree. unity and stuff. I agree. But everything that you were saying that it, it's not that I'm talking about all these celebrities xyz at a high enough value when they have options they will explore them that's what i'm saying and i'm also saying that if a man did decide to explore his options it would not be as disgusting as if a female decided to explore okay wouldn't it just be disgusting then no it's different if a woman does it. It's different if a woman does it. Everyone watching this knows it's different if a woman cheats. It's different. Honestly, men with these sexist views, like it's so outdated. What kind of relationship do you have with your mother? A good one. A good one? Yeah, I take care of her. And, and, and also that paradigm, the whole idea that if you find a man who's good with his mom, then he's good with girls, that's, that's, that's bullshit. No, no, it was just more because I find that your thoughts towards women are quite disrespectful. You think so? so? Why? this arrogance that you've got don't tell me what i'd actually like to know what i've said that so far no i'm yeah. just saying it's it's not you don't have to say anything answer. it's like energy speaks you got nothing. volumes because you're not actually listening to what i'm saying i'm listening to everything you're saying i don't think you're listening to so what i'm saying i'm saying if he doesn't listen, listen and he becomes they should arrogant. fall in love with one man and stay with that man he's and got, if that man takes care of them and ends up across 20 years sleeping with one chick once you shouldn't leave him that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying and the point i'm making is completely valid and if a woman sleeps with one man once that's unacceptable but if a man does it it's, it's acceptable What's the point I'm making? Do you, do you just want women to be submissive to you? I think in a healthy relationship, there's always a leader, whether it's the man or the woman. And I think that in the happiest relationships, the man's in charge. Mm-hmm. I don't think women should be submissive to an idiot. Yeah. And I don't think women should be submissive to any man they meet. And I don't think women should be submissive when they're not rewarded. Right? If, if a captain is in charge of a ship, he's responsible for the ship, right? Mm-hmm. If he's responsible for the ship, he has authority over the ship. Okay, he, but he, it's a, I'm a woman, I'm not a ship. In a relationship, so, okay, the ship. She's the just getting triggered, man. I know exactly. He's giving an example. It's just like talking in riddles. Like none of it actually makes sense if you actually listen to what he's saying. Cause you're dumb. I know. You are literally if you cannot, thick. If you, not, if you cannot get sense out of that, man, seriously. A man I, was using an example as a ship uh, and a captain, hmm. an analogy. So that her thick brain skull <laughs> can get get through it and yeah. understand it, mm. but that didn't work. That mm. backfired, and she's just like, eh, "Why are you using all these symbols and all that?" Mm, yeah. What can? You, what else can? A, you a say? woman is not a ship. He's not seeing a woman as a ship. Uh, that's how women see that, it. That's man. you know that's what winds mm, me up. Yeah, it's crazy. And then you start calling you arrogant and you this and that. Oh, mm. God, man. So I think if a man has responsibility and he takes care of the woman. 
and improves her life and makes sure that every single facet of her life, whether spiritual, physical, financial, etc., is taken care of, then he should have some degree of authority. I don't see why a man would take care of a woman and have no authority over her while accepting all of the responsibility that's getting played. You're an independent woman. Maybe you make your own money. You want to do all those own things. That's fine. Fantastic. But if, if I had a woman, I would say, look, I like that you do your own things. I like that you do your jobs, but let's keep it part time. I want you to come with me. We got to go here. We got to go there. I'm taking you around the world. You're with me. I'm taking care of you, etc. And I'd expect her to listen to me in return. Why wouldn't she? I'm not going to tell you to do anything wrong or bad. But if I were to say, I don't like that dude, stop talking to him. I'm her man, not that dude. It shouldn't even be a competition. She'd be all right, cool, blah, blah. That's true. But why wouldn't it be? But then mm -hmm. if I said I didn't like that woman. I don't know about that. This is what I'm saying. It's just a double standard and it's just like a power struggle. Like it's about balance. Life you know, and this is the thing, like I feel a lot of women could give you that life and be like, do you know what? He can have She keeps mentioning about balance. Balance. <laughs> what is that balance? What do women want? What is your balance? Basically everything's equal. Everything's equal. Yeah, we're yeah. different. Okay. So if we're different, we are equal. Mm. It won't work. It will never work. If you want that balance, yeah? If you want that balance, you will never have kids. It will only just be about yourself. That's it. Mm. The girlfriend, he can... There's so many people that are into that. I'm not even saying... No, I'm not no, a cheater. I'm saying there's people that are into that. Correct. But, but I'm not a cheater. I don't but, want anyone to think this is about me. I'm talking women, about general. But do you think women want to sit here and look stupid? Like, I, I might think, do you know what? Actually, I'm listening doing to right everything you're saying, I'm agreeing and liking it. But then, if you've got me out here looking stupid because you might be in clubs with all these women around you, making me look like a f***ing idiot, do you think I'm going to tolerate that? No. Mm. When you have men like you have explained, it's as if you're trying to prove a point to the world that you're yeah. this great man that has all these options no, and you're agree. so successful. I agree like, with It you. doesn't work like I agree that. with you. If, if there was a man, which is not me because I'm a one-woman man, but if there was a man who decided to have no, multiple no, girlfriends, no, no, no. his approach certainly <laughs> wouldn't be sitting down and saying it the way I'm saying it. The point I'm trying to make is, I think that the idea of a man having a girlfriend who he loves and maybe sometimes stepping out is not nearly as offensive as the idea of a woman having a man she loves and sometimes stepping out. <laughs>